Conversations from the Cave is a raw self-help podcast dedicated to discussing men's issues. From pornography to parenting, from religion to real life, from learning to loving, we discuss the real issues that affect real men every day. Join us each week for powerful, revealing Conversations from the Cave. Now your host, Kurt Kennedy. This is Conversations from the Cave. I'm your host, Kirk Kennedy. It's a pleasure having you back again this Sunday. We're excited and joined in studio by our wonderful team of gentlemen who join us in the cave each and every week. To my right, Mustang. Can you chime in for us, sir? Hey, this is CJ Mustang. Glad to be here again. And uh, to right in the center of our room, B.A., can you uh, give us a little shout out, sir? This is B.A. out of Huntsville, which changes lives one word at a time. And Nola, can you give us a shout out, sir? This is NOLA73. Meet you where you at. Gentlemen, we have been talking over the last few weeks about two main issues. One is the issue of sexual impotency and uh, lack of stamina in men. We have talked about some of the causes. Some of those causes are pornography, health concerns, uh, etc. We've also talked about some of the emotional issues. For example, um, communication is necessary. Are there things in particular that women can do to help enhance if their man is not in the mood? Are there things that women can do to enhance the potential for having a successful evening? I'll start with you, Mustang. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. I think we may have touched on this a little bit at one point. I know that, you know, I was saying that, um, you know, uh, I mean, literally, you know, of course, clothes and, and dress is, is always wonderful for us. But, you know, what do we like? You know, find out what he likes. You know, uh, if your husband all of a sudden is turned on, you know, kind of jot down what, you know, what happened or, or make a mental note if you're able to retain those. I have to write things down. Otherwise, I'll forget or talk to Siri and tell, make her remember. But, um, you know, make a make a note of that. You know, what was it that that was so good that night? You know, what was I wearing? What was I doing? What was I saying? What were we watching? You know, you know, was it a romantic film? Was it an action film? You know, what what is it? You know, what was the environment like? You know, that that got him so excited, um, you know, and, 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 and ladies, keep those keep those things down. You know, if you're having a man that's having problems, you know, typically and me and my wife actually just talked about this. I think either this morning, or yesterday, um, I think for most men, our switch is always on. Like you just need to be like, hey, honey, you know, you want to come hang out in the bedroom you know, together? Yeah. I mean, like you don't have to say anything else. Like my switch is permanent on. However, there may be some guys, like you said, or the ladies, their switch is permanent on and, and their spouses is not. So again, what things are, were so exciting? You know, was it, was it some kind of uh, intimate thing you did it specifically? You know, was there a collection of intimate things you did specifically, you know, or maybe take a step back and maybe it's not even intimate. You know, my wife loves it when I get things done around the house for her. That is a big turn on for her. As a man, that does not make sense to me. It makes zero sense how I could be turned on because she did something, you know, something around the house for me. But that's literally, she is Rip, you know, ready to go. You know, if if I clean the house, you know, take the kids, take them in there, give them a bath, give her a, you know, set her a bubble bath up, a candle, and all that fun stuff. She is, let's do it. You know, so uh, you know, maybe something like that. Take a step back, and and maybe it's not always sexual. Check, you know, check some other things. Let me ask you. Uh, I'm going to send this around the horn. Are there things that women do innately that turn men off? I think that's a a slightly different question. Instead of are there things you can do to turn him on, are there things that women do innately that kind of can turn a guy off? Yes, sir. Nola 73, meet you where you're at. Yes, (laughs) yes, there are. (laughs) As I see the rolling out of the scroll. (laughs) Man, as passionate as I am about other topics, I'm just as passionate about this one. Um, There are things that they can do just by opening up their mouth, by looking at you a certain way. You know, um, one of the things my wife does is she don't have to do nothing but just um, slam my car door. You know, like, what are you doing? Just don't do that. And that can mess up my whole day. You don't have to slam my car door. You don't have to, you know, another thing, keeping all of the lights on around the house. If you're not in the room, turn the light off. But then you want to get mad when the bill is so high. And now I have to figure out a way to get the bill paid, you know, but I'm telling you throughout the month, turn the lights off. Those are a lot of things that my wife does that really gets up under my skin and it kills my mood swing because I don't want to be trying to do nothing now because you are not listening to me. So, you uh, know, so respect and respect and consideration are a big part of affirmation for men. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Uh, it looked like, uh, Mustang, you were trying to chime in on that. Were you trying to say yeah, something? I, I wanted to make sure, Bay, Bay I'm not cutting you off anymore, brother. I, I don't think I'm, so. I, I'm taking that as a no. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, and I'm going to get kind of the heart of, of, of what this show is about. This is for the people who really want to listen, so you guys can turn it up now. So these ladies, let me explain something to you, okay? And this may be, and you guys, since you guys are, you know, we've all, you know, been with women, you know, been with our spouses, uh, this is, I'm going to go ahead and get into it so these ladies can, can get some juicy bit, okay? They can start taking notes. So, you know, for me, a big thing, if, if, we're, if, we're, if we're doing characters, if we're doing role play, okay, stay in character, okay? You know, if, 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 if I'm talking like that, you know, if, if I'm from, from England or something, and I'm your, you know, your massage therapist from England, like, don't, you know, turn around and be like, what's that? That tickle. Don't, uh-uh. Stay in character. You are the patient. You are, you are the, you know, I'm the masseuse, okay? We're still in England. Keep your accent. Keep stay in character. Okay, I'm ser- dead serious on this. You know, if if we're you know if I'm the construction worker and you're the secretary, I'm the boss. You're the sec. Whatever the case is, stay in character. Don't break character. You know, unless the kid bust, you know, is trying to break down the door or something. Don't break character. Uh, big thing too. Be swept away in the moment. Like really, be be. You know, don't sit there and, and, and like, oh, I'm, I'm conscious about my, my tummy. I'm conscious about my legs. I'm conscious about the way I look. I'm conscious about this. I'm con- don't, don't worry about that. I promise you. I still want to have sex. Okay. Oh. I promise you. Okay. Be swept away in the moment. Just yes. let it take you. Huh? You got some affirmation from uh, Nola on that one. I just. <laughs> yes. 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 I, I yes. Promise you know, yeah, one, of the, one of the biggest things I hate is you have the ability to give me the most precious jewel on your body. And only thing you can worry about is your tummy. Yes. Or your toenails. You giving me something that I can take and destroy it, misuse, and that's tied to your feelings, your heart. And then I can crush that. I can break your heart. And you're worrying about your stomach. You're worrying about how your arm look. Women, we don't care if we say that we love you. We don't care about that. We care that you care about that, but when it's time to make love to you, that's not a part of our persona. We're not worried like, oh man, you need to tuck your tummy in before. No, thank you. Thank I'm not worried about that. I love you. So <laughs> if I tell you I love you, I love that, and I'm not worried about that. I understand your self conscious, but see, what I want y'all to understand is, if you're self conscious, and we do understand that, I'm willing to help you work on that. If you're self-conscious about that, but when you bring that to the bed, don't give me your most prized possession and been and worry about that. Those two, to me, that don't line up. You're giving me something that's tied to your heart and you're worrying about your stomach. That doesn't line up to me. And the last thing I want to, I want to say, there's three things on that list too. And, and, and also too, give them the spontaneity, if I can say that as the last thing, give them to that spontaneity. You know, there's sometimes if, you know, if I want to, you know, just kiss you right there in the middle, like for instance, I got the urge the other day, you know, we're at her, my wife's mother's house and man, something hit me that Bruno Mars song, man. I don't know if I can say it on here or not, but anyway, it was a great song came on and it was like, just the way you are. And I just, you know, I said, come here, I want to dance with her, you know, and she did. She let me dance with her, stuff like that. But you know, there's other times where I'm at my mother's house or this, that, and the other, this, you know what I mean? And listen. Give into spon- into spontaneity, into spontaneity. Let it happen, and you know what? If it turns into sex, not in your mother's house, but if it turns into sex, if it turns into sex, you know, right there, and you're in the hallway. Let it happen. Assuming you know everything's okay, the kids aren't there, kids aren't home, or something like that. You know, let it happen. Don't fight. Well, we've got it. Well, I've got to shave. I've got to go do take. I've got. Hey, let's just have. A, you know what? This doesn't happen all the time. And I'm 31. I'm younger, I believe, than anybody here. It's, it doesn't happen all the time for me. Like, it's only a few times that this happens. But, you know, where I get a spontaneous, you know, just anywhere in the house, I'm like, let's do it. Other than the kids' house, the kids' rooms, those are off limits. But anybody else's room, and it may, boom, I just, I love you. I want to kiss on you and make out with you like we're in high school. But don't don't fight that. Let it happen. Right, right. And another thing about being spontaneous is, hey, listen, we've been talking about this. Or we just made this happen. I'm not trying to run and go get no towel. <laughs> I'm not trying to run and go and get no towel. Thank that's you. Like, that's, that's like telling me, hey, do you have a condom? Uh, I can use a Ziploc bag if that's what you want. <laughs> but I'm not about to go get no condom. Let's do it right here. We can clean it up. We've been right cleaning up for the longest. <laughs> well, thank you very much, gentlemen, for now just turning this into a rated X show. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to put that. Are page. you using food over there, Nola? I'm. I'm going to have to put PG on this thing. and But anyhow, I, I get what you guys are saying, and I think this is a really important point. What the guys are saying, ladies, is, in well, in a nutshell, give in to the moment. Uh, look out for the spontaneous times where 
uh, special moments can be made and memories can be made and focus on the, the being in the moment, not about all the other things. And what we find a lot of times is that if you're if you're thinking of uh, having some intimate quality time, let that moment be exclusively for that intimate moment and not be worried about the kids, not be worried about going to your mother's, not be worried about your girlfriend down the street who's got issues with her husband. Chances are if she was taking care of her husband like you're taking care of yours, she wouldn't be having the problem. But anyway, that's just a whole nother soapbox <laughs> issue. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> she would have her own problem, you know. But anyway, we're trying to take care of that here on the cave. So tell her husband and her to listen to the cave. But but my point is this. The guys are really talking about that the value that they place upon anyone who is a spouse in the relationship. And what they're saying is focus on being in the moment at the time. Don't be a million miles away when we're trying to enjoy the quality time. The other thing I wanted to pose before we, we leave this topic is how important is it to schedule time for this intimate, these intimate moments. We didn't talk about how to make these intimate moments occur because a lot of women go to great lengths to try to have intimate moments that are characterized by flowers and bubble baths and, you know, a variety of other romantic things. But how is it that these moments should be scheduled once a week, twice a week, three times a week, cordoning off some time for that intimacy? Well, Nola 73 here. Um, I, to me, I don't see where a husband and wife should ever have to schedule sex, schedule coming together. And let me tell you why. That means you have created a lifestyle that's so busy that you have to plan to come together. You, you sleep every night. Break sleep. Break protocol. I don't care if you don't get eight hours of sleep. I don't care if you're not getting six hours of sleep. You're going to do something. I'm not scheduling to have sex with my wife. I'm not going to do that. That's just idiotic to me. The, the boy is going to have to think they're going to miss soccer. A game, they're gonna do something, but we're not, we should never have to come together to schedule something. Going back to what Mustang said earlier, being spontaneous. You wanna spice things up? You know, when I come home, be standing in front of the door with a trench coat and nothing on. You know, like like Mustang said earlier, you know, men are always in the mood, not, not taking nothing away from the women, but I never see a man come to the door with a trench coat on a woman just drop her stuff and be like, take me. You know, but it's always the other way around. But when it comes to the door, a man, didn't work for me. you know, a man can be dead bone tied. He gonna drop his toolbox. He gonna drop whatever, and he gonna be ready. He's like he ain't even got to worry about taking a bath. A woman, oh, I got to get cleaned up. I have to do this spontaneous again. But we should never have to come to a point in our life as adults to where we have to schedule to come together. That means your lifestyle is too busy, and you need to start letting things go. Wow. Okay. Um... All right. I so, that too, but I want to. I want to leave everybody else to comment. Yeah, I mean, f- f- well, before I comment on it, uh, Mustang, did you want to say a few things, or did? Uh, how about UBA? Well, just uh, I definitely agree with Noah. You know, uh, the biggest thing is uh, your schedule is for your work, for your workouts, for for stuff that are outside of the home usually. So when you and your wife, you know. As it's been said in the past, I've heard this over and over, you can sleep when you're dead, you know, so get it, get it on when you can, you know, because uh, <laughs> it, 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 it's something that a husband and wife needs. It's, it's a part of a healthy relationship. So, Well, I would like to offer a slightly different vantage point, just real quick, not not in abject. Uh, I understand what, what uh, Noah is saying in terms of, well, you know, if your life is that busy that you have to schedule in time for sex, then your life's too busy. But let's just I'm going to just be real. There are a lot of people who have extremely busy lives. Some some people uh, have, you know, they are in high pressured um, professions. Some of them run small businesses. Some of them do both. I know a lot of our listeners are um, entrepreneurs. And there are there are some challenges to trying to fit everything in. And if you don't take time or make or put the big blocks in to your schedule, then you're more likely to leave those things unscheduled. And if you're always saying, well, sex can come tomorrow or "Oh, we'll get to it next week, two, three, four months later, if it's not in schedule that Tuesday night's date night or Saturday night's date night or, you know, whatever night of the week you choose to spend time together or is going to be dinner out and quality time night, then you're guaranteed not to have time. Whereas if you do schedule it, you are at least setting aside time where something can happen in the midst of those spontaneous times. So what I guess I'm saying is that there are a lot of people who don't think of it as important and don't set aside time for it. And the result is they never have it. Whereas there are some people who actually say, you know what, 
whether we have intercourse or whether we're watching a movie of our favorite, you know, favorite actor or whatever, we're going to set set aside some time so that we have these moments that we can spend. 